What is coal seam gas? Coal seam gas is a type of natural gas which is composed of primarily methane and in con contains trace amounts of butane and propane. Unlike natural gas which is located in the space between grain and sandstone, coal seam gas is bounded to the surface of coal particles. Coal seams are per present below ground depths of 300 to 1000 meters. The commonly used method of extracting coal seam gas is fracking which is also known as hydraulic fracturing. This method is used to stimulate and accelerate the flow of coal seam by drilling into the coal seams and pumping a high pressure injection of sand, water and harmful chemicals, as a result causing fractures. It is due to these fractures that the coal seam gas can escape. Fracking also produces large quantities of salt water as a byproduct. And it is because of this wastewater that the salinity levels in the soil are increasing, affecting the plant's ability to take up calcium and magnesium ions, which are essential for plant growth, rendering the soil useless for agriculture. Wastewater also does considerable damage to the quality of surface water and to the overall balance of the ecosystem. Another major concern is water contamination of the Great Artesian Basin. Vtex, benzene, toluene, ethylbenzene, and xylene chemicals are usually found in the products used in fracking procedure. These chemicals have a profound effect on the environment and cause contamination of water supplies. As the fracking method allows these chemicals to disperse into groundwater aquifers to vitalize into the air and as a result having potential harmful effects for people who come into contact with these chemicals. Vtex chemicals have subsequently been banned in Queensland but are still used by closely monitoring other areas of Australia. Another negative environmental impact of coal seam gas is the emission of carbon dioxide and methane gas, both of which are recognised to be greenhouse gases, which play a significant role in global warming. Coal seam gas emissions contribute to a large volume of methane gas into the atmosphere de therefore having detrimental effects on climate change as methane is more effective in trapping heat in the atmosphere up to 20 times of that of CO2. Australian government's decision to implement coal seam gas extraction in the Surat Basin is a cause of many environmental concerns in that region. Given that the majority of underground water the reserves are interconnected, polluting one will cause the pollutants to spread elsewhere. The Surat Basin is located in Queensland and is one of the three basins located within the Great Artesian Basin. It is where coal seam gas extract from. The Great Artesian Basin is considered one of the world's largest underground water systems. It lies approximately one-fifth of Australia spreading across from New South Wales, Queensland and Northern Territory. There are already a number of coal seam gas projects across Australia, mainly in the Surat Basin. Arrow Energy PTY proposes the expansion in the Surat region. And the project development area covers roughly 8,600 km squared, an indication of the scale of the operation and expansion in the next 20 years is estimated to be around 20,000 to up to 40,000 wells in the Surat Basin alone. The Surat Basin contains layers of irregular sands, coal from swamps, shallow ocean slit, muds and clays. These deposits get to a maximum thickness of 2,500 meters. The river sands are generally aquifers and the ocean slits muds are aquitards. Coal seam gas ex Extracted from the Walloon coal measures an area within the basin which consists of layers of coal, slits and clays measuring up to 350 meters in thickness. Only 10% of the coal measures is actually coal and comprised of a very thin layer of coal seams. If this is situated, the financial, political and environmental risks are high. In November 2010, Federal Minister for Sustainability and Environment and Water approved $35 billion worth of coal seam pro gas projects in Queensland alone. Despite protests from his own department who expressed their concerns about the potential negative impacts on the environment that these projects, this goes to show that when there is good money to be made, the future of the environment is no longer a concern. At this rate, coal seam gas extraction 
may last for the next hundred years, which doesn't make it a sustainable source of energy, but rather inefficient considering the environmental concerns associated with it. The management of both carbon dioxide and the co-produced water are and adding an extra expense to the cost of methane. The research has shown that the byproduct water has destructive impact when used for irrigation or is discharged into streams. There are different ways in treating the wastewater, but there is no efficient way of treating it as the average price for treating one gigalitre of the wastewater is one million dollars. And there is yet to be a cost effective approach in the treatment of the contaminated water. The health and well being of the communities are put at risk by coal seam gas industry with the pollutants of air and water leading to illness and poor health as a result. Mining companies invade towns and villages harming the quality of life, reducing the value of properties and destroying and dividing communities, making coal seam gas extraction a potential environmental hazard and a hazard to the way of life in the community. Given that it may only last for the next hundred years, the risks are significantly outweigh the short-term benefits associated with this industry and the Australian government should take this into consideration when proposing the next coal seam gas project. Thank you for watching my video. I am Sapir Mockberry.